Big break in the Seminole Heights murder mystery. Cops are now naming this guy their official suspect. Seen all over surveillance. Tonight, a plea from both police and pastors to do the right thing. We begin our live team coverage with Melanie Michael in the heart of Seminole Heights right now. Mel? Hey guys, good evening to you both. Tonight, right now, $91,000 on the table for the person who turns in the killer. The video is chilling. It shows the Seminole Heights killer just moments before committing another murder, another innocent life taken this week, that of Ronald Felton, victim number four. With this new video, Tampa police now posing a question to you. Was there someone that you know that should have been home, should have been at work, should have been anywhere, and they weren't there at that time frame, and they look like that person? This is the time that people have to step up. They have to tell what they know. Pastor Jeffrey Johnson asking for bravery in the heart of Seminole Heights at the very church where Ronald Felton was on his way to feed the homeless, murdered as he tried to give back and help others. So on this Wednesday night, in this worship service, it is heart, all heart, that's keeping this community connected. Humanity, loving one another, should cause people to do the right thing, because it's the right thing to do. Having heart. Having a heart. A pastor who hopes good will prevail over evil, and good people will no longer be tortured by a predator. We cannot let this drive a wedge between us. We're not willing to hand over the key to the city to whoever's doing this. So tonight, at this hour, we cannot stress this enough. If that man in the video looks familiar to you, do not hesitate. Tonight, call Tampa police because there are lives depending on it. Keith, Jen? Melanie Michael, live from the search zone for us tonight. Mel, thank you so much. And tonight we are here.